Welcome back to Business News. In order to reduce carbon emissions, companies are now focusing on greener ways for clean energy. East Africa Breweries Limited is now looking to reduce its carbon emissions by 40,000 tons per annum. According to Irish Deputy Prime Minister Michael Martin, who toured the EABL biomass steam plant, using agricultural waste as biomass fuel will allow value creation of waste that would primarily be discarded. Two in Kenya, one in Kampala, as part of a partnership with um, Diageo and EABL um, in particular. So that's the first thing, it's a very strong partnership. Secondly, uh, it's really what we're witnessing here is the circular economy at its best. Uh, added values for farmers in terms of uh, the raw materials that are coming from the farming community uh, as inputs into the uh, energy um, generation. Uh, so the macadamia nuts shells, for example, a very good use for them now here. Um, and so the farmers do well, uh, the company does well, the EABL, because we, they're, they're, in terms of the broader Diageo agenda of net zero and getting your carbon emissions down, they're also saving money. So EABL um, have saved about six million US dollars. We want to be carbon neutral which means that we are taking care of the environment. Just by installing this, this space, we reduce our carbon, carbon emissions by 95%. That is very, very, very significant. And then I think for me, the one that I'm most passionate about, we are creating value chains that were not existing. So for example, macadamia husks, they didn't have a lot of use, but now we are buying from farmers and we are creating that macadamia husk value chain which will help the farmers. We are creating another one on sugar bagasse. We're experimenting on so many others as we get into the future because it's not a very developed space. The Kenya Association of Manufacturers has announced the appointment